Hello, everybody. We should be live, and my audio should be coming through, so we're going to get started, probably in about one more minute. Yep, we got some other stuff planned in the bank other than these live streams, but this was one of the things I wanted to try to do while I had the chance, so here we go. Okay, so I'm going to be starting my great deep dive into some Ace Attorney fan games, and with this, uh, we're going to be using Pyrite, so a engine that a bunch of fans have created that let you make your own faces and we're going to be playing turnabout substitution which at its core is i believe acts as a rise from the ashes for apollo justice and i'm very intrigued by that because i'm not the hugest fan of apollo justice not either neither the character or the game i think both are suitable for what they are but they're certainly not my favorite in the series and not to just i know a lot of people really do like it and i'm not going to judge you for that but I always felt the final case was a bit uh, shallow, not shallow, but underwhelming. So I'm interested to see how someone else chooses to wrap this story up and see what other interesting things that can be made out of this. So let's get started. I'll see you. I, if either anyone in the chat is willing to make sure that the audio balance is good, it'd be appreciated and now. Oh, damn. This looks really good. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. Let's lower some of the audio. I can't really boost my voice up much more, so uh, let's see what I can do here. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to raise my voice a lot, but I can just talk louder and lowering the game audio, so hopefully that fits in a little better. Yeah, audio's got to go way down. Holy crap. And Apollo's drunk. Wonderful. Here we go. I can boost. Here we go. 
I'm using OBS for the first time to try to handle this stuff, so I'm not really fully used to using things like this. Hopefully all the audio balance is good now, if anyone's willing to comment. So I still have my evidence there, profiles, it's just Apollo. F5 is safe. Okay. Yeah, it's my first time playing with Pyrite, so it's going to be a little weird to get used to that, so. Ah, there's the guitar serenade. <laughs> This game is full on just having Apollo know <laughs> that him and Trucy are siblings. Interesting. Not something I was expecting. <laughs> okay. What the hell is going on? I say, why do you think the Phoenix just lives with me? That was all really fast. <laughs> I have a feeling, yeah, I was about to say, I have a feeling I know where this is going. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have uh, the great Canadian judge as the judge for this case. <laughs> Just call me judge. As I say, why is a judge seeing uh, uh, visiting chambers? They're not usually involved with this stuff. I mean, you have lived God knows how long, because you were already old at the beginning of the series, and that's ten years. This is ten years later. I was about to say, say Apollo. <laughs> hey, hey, no need to make fun of Pearl like that.
Okay, so how am I going to be dealing with this? Uh, sorry, I still think the audio balance is bad, so we'll figure this out. I was about to say, I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, Phoenix can't defend you. I legally can. <laughs> Your father smelt of elderberries. <laughs> Dutch Chambers wants me to represent him in court. He must be out of his mind. <laughs> Wonderful. Man, we're adding this deep backstory to the judge. <laughs> I mean, he's never always been the brightest bulb in the <laughs> shed, but... Yeah, let's say, I feel like we need to know why this person, why he was even visiting this person in the first place. Robin Erlenmeyer. Did I say, should I know him? Is this, are we getting another DL6 here? The Mysterious Bust Killings. Ah, oh, so a serial killer was killed. Wonderful. So it's like seven. Clooney Prisms is So he wasn't even in a like regular jail cell at all. He was in an asylum. Who is this talking? He is, he's falling onto the bat, bottom screen. Is this custom music? No, I don't speak Latin. Really loud music, Jesus. I'm just gonna boost the audio really low because it's just not. It is really loud. <laughs> I'm fine! Meet Mr. Justice. I'm not even finishing my sentences. Okay. Who the hell are you? <laughs> there's, there's just people appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> Rhea Wits. 
I was say, I, I'm just so popular now. Save the courtroom, or sorry, save the entire legal system, become famous. Step three, profit. Okay. <laughs> Are you just a... What is this music? Oh my god. <laughs> Rio's business card. This might as well be the cutest skeleton I've ever seen. I, I'm not in charge of this. This is Phoenix's gig. I mean, I wouldn't even doubt necessarily Rhea being a killer, but then again, she's pretty much the only character we've met so far, so. I'm more interested where the hell Trucy is. Like, I'm fine with having a new character. Uh, this is more so the, the angle I thought it was going. I thought they were going to have someone be, like, as soon as I heard serial killings, that there's going to be someone involved who knew about them. The Zapper Thunder, the judge has been arrested for a serial killer who was shot in an asylum. And we're taking up the case. It's after the final case of the Fall of Justice. That was just horrible. <laughs> Phoenix once knew this clown. Can people just let me talk? Jesus. <laughs> Here's my attorney badge. No fair. <laughs> I kind of like her so far. Okay, Clooney Prisons Asylum. George Clooney, we're coming for you. Great observation, Ria. <gasps> Emma? Yeah! I miss this theme, man. How do you do, fellow kids? Okay, well, there's my answer about Trucy.
I was about to say, like, uh, no other attorneys exist in this world. It's just me. <laughs> Assume that if an attorney's at the crime scene, I'm involved. The Siamese cell. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> No, I'm not telling you. I do this on my own. Okay. So, I mean, the clear thing is the bullet hole and the bloody handprint. Blood added to the court records. Bullet hole. Earl of Meyer was shot in the head? Jesus. Um. Yeah, yeah, I just read this. Gosh dang it. Okay. Uh, cell door. Obviously, I want to look at the gun. Uh, I have no idea how long this case is. I'm gonna guesstimate at least four or so hours, but... What else is there really to investigate? There's the gun, there's the blood, and there's a bullet hole. That's kind of it. Oh yeah, a mistake here. <laughs> yeah, that might help. A prison guard. So there was both the judge and the prison guard knocked out. Well, take a look at this blood. Ah, uh, hold on. God, I miss Emma. I wish Emma wasn't... I mean, she was in Spirit of Justice. I just haven't played a lot of Ace Attorney in a while, so... I miss... I miss Emma. Emma Snark. Okay, so that was definitely the gun he was... He was knocked out with. We're not at that game yet. That's Investigations 2. The one thing I'm confused with is that they were saying that Erlenmeyer was shot in the head, and if that's the case, how the hell does a bloody handprint end up on the wall? Because one miss, one shoots him in the head, he's dead. I, I, I have the feeling that... Erlen Meyer's not dead, that he actually escaped. Because if without any body, I don't think that's... I mean, that's where I think it's going to go. Yeah, I have heard the news about DGS. I'm crossing my fingers on that. I, I'm worried that no information has come out this year about it, if it was really coming out soon. But I do hope 
DGS. These rumors are real, but considering most of the leaks mentioned in the Capcom thing have been pretty re reasonable, I'm hoping, hoping for it. That's kind of why I wanted to get back into it, because if they do get translations, I really want to do some videos on them. So we'll see. Everyone keep your fingers crossed. No, not snackaroos. There we go. There's the snackaroos. Hold on. It's not even just setup. It's just, it's all weird. Like, I I feel like I'm missing something here. There's some core thing that I'm missing here. Cause there's there. Okay, I want to look at what this 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 kind of looks like a toupee. Oh god! <laughs> as soon as they said a patrolman was knocked out, I'm like, it better not be freaking Meekins. And of course, it's Meekins. Can you just stop getting yourself into horrible situations, Meekins? Because <laughs> you just make my life a living hell. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh no, I knocked my audio down. Ugh. Yeah. Like I said, I apologize that this stream might not always run well because it's my first time really trying something like this, so. It's better than nothing though, so. Leave it as is. I don't know, Pyrite's just weird because whenever you, you click off screen, the entire thing just pauses. Here we go. Yes, sir. Okay, can I examine this friggin' wig? To answer your question, I definitely prefer Zero Escape over Danganronpa. Um, I think Danganronpa has better characters, but as an actual series, Zero Escape I have way more fun with. And Zero Time Dilemma, I've actually gotten over it. I used to re- there's a ladder. Um, I used to not like Zero Time Dilemma, but I've I've come around to it. I've I've enjoyed it a lot, and obviously I love Virtue Last Reward. It's in my top 10 favorite games ever. But the more interesting thing about you is I actually think V3 is the best the best game in the series. Um, I understand a lot of people don't like it, particularly because of the ending, but I actually really, really love V3's ending. And 
That might be controversial. I know I have some other friends who have similar opinions, but uh, that's just my opinion. I really love V3. But in general, if I were to pick one series over the other, I'm definitely going to pick Zero Escape because I think it's more imaginative and I have more satisfaction playing them. Yeah, Zero Time Dilemma definitely has the poor ending of all of them. That's easy to discern. I don't think any people are going to disagree with you on that. Um... I mean, Minkins, we've already proven you're not necessarily the best guard out there, so... A suspicious person. Okay, so that's Chambers, yeah. <laughs> not really much debate there. I just like V3's ending because... I don't know, the other two games had very cop-out endings in the sense of, like, I don't know, they kind of just come out of nowhere. I think V3's ending actually has, like, interesting, has an interesting thematic relationship to the story, and I think it actually leads to some interesting discourses, while the other games are just kind of like, here's an ending that you couldn't have predicted coming. You can't really predict V3's ending either, but I think it's, I think it, it, it has a more interesting commentary on the series. <laughs> he was wearing a guard uniform? What? Okay, we're gonna have to we have a lot of questions to ask Chambers. <laughs> Damn you, truth! What is the something significant? Yeah, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to go to, I, I can go deep diving into V3's ending, but I kind of want to, I know there's at least one person watching this stream who hasn't played V3, and I'd rather keep that, that a secret. So, I don't want to go too deep into what I think about it, but I personally really like V3's ending. And I can understand why people don't like it. I'm not going to change someone's opinion, because I think it's justifiable if you don't like that sort of ending, but I personally think it has a very interesting look at the same kind of endings the series has done. Yeah, we're basically screwed if Meekins comes to the stand. Dilapidux? What? <laughs> yeah, Ju Chambers, you got a lot to... S oh, that's not the wrong place. You got a lot to talk about. Colonel Affairs Department. Okay, I guess that brings me back to Emma. But we really need to talk to Judge. How the hell do you know, Rhea? Oh, I okay, I guess that makes sense. 
Uh, I've played Persona 5. Uh, I've never beaten Persona 5, but I have played it. I played up to the fourth palace, and then I got burned out because, dear God, those games are long. Interesting. There's a lot of really weird connections here. Because, you know, Chambers seeming to preside over the Earl Erlenmeyer case. Obviously that having deep connections with Rhea. Paul Strings, the new Chief Justice. Okay, I was wondering who that guy was. So he's actually probably going to be the uh, judge for this case. <laughs> I mean, clearly, if you wrote Bulgarian Scandal... Oh, nice, nice tie into investigations there. Or no, I guess this is Turnabout Serenade. They're not directly related, Zapper. I don't, I don't think they're directly related. But uh, Rhea was one. His her brother was one of the victims in the bust serial killings. And I believe Chambers was the one who presided over the conviction of Erlen Meyer. I think that's the main, I think that's the main way that Chambers connects to Erlen Meyer. Otherwise there's no clear connection at all. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this game's gonna get an automatic amazing rating if uh, I get to do. Oh, I was gonna say, if I get to do some perceiving on the judge, that'd be cool. Objection tonight! <laughs> RT? Judge's younger brother. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this, this is where I, honestly, I think the case is going in a direction that Earl and Meyer basically pulled off this absurd escape where he basically pretended to get killed and then vanished because, I mean, unless I read something wrong here, but I straight up thought Earl and Meyer's body was not found. And if he wasn't found, then that changes absolutely everything. I don't really do speedrunning much anymore. I do occasionally do some Link Between Worlds runs just because I just really enjoy playing that game, but I don't know. I don't I don't have the time anymore to really do speedrunning a whole lot. I did try to do a Tropical Freeze speedrun uh, back when the Switch version came out, uh, and I do have a couple IL world records on the leaderboards there for a while. I don't think I have any anymore, but... I did.
It's more than framed. How is that worse? This is this is the better outcome here. Oh my god. So, the letter that no longer exists. Okay. Jesus. I did play I, the Somnium Files. I actually played with my roommate uh, all the way through. Really enjoyed it. Um, not on the same level as the uh, rest of the series, or the rest of the things that Ujikoshi has done, but I is really good. I really enjoyed playing I. So I think it takes his style and puts a different spin on it. And one thing I was more proud of is we pretty much predicted the main twist. Uh, when we were playing it, like we we pulled out a whiteboard and <laughs> drew all the lines about where certain consciousness were during it, and actually figured out the entire game after only like two endings. <laughs> uh, we were very very proud of that. <laughs> okay. So I guess we'll go to the justice office. Talk to what's this guy's name again? I already forgot. Paul Strings. I'm wondering if he's going to connect in deep at all, if he's just serving as the main justice for the case. I'm about to say, this is just Gant all over again. <laughs> I mean, if we can make legalese a word, I don't see why lying and legaling is, can't be a word. Okay, so that's the window. I wanted to look at the chair, but obviously the bust. King Leonidas, 300? This is Sparta? Oh, wait. Oh, this is awesome. This is a lot. I mean, I've, I've only done like some small case playing with on stuff like Ace Attorney Online. This is like next level, like putting details and like swiping the screen. Eight forty is real pushed. He's a culprit. Yeah, I was about to say, Battle of Thermopylae. It's 300. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, here we go. Phi anagram time. Let's go. Dear God, I have no clue what the hell he is pointing out with this, but... Okay, this ain't good. Oh, I thought he was coming in. <laughs> I didn't think that was actual music. What is happening? What? Interesting. So Chief Justice is involved with this somehow. I mean, okay, my current theory right now is still that Erlen Meyer escaped and is trying to basically frame his own death so that no one goes looking for him. And I'm thinking that justice connects to that somehow. What can I present to you? Nah. This is the only part that it didn't have a check mark next to, so I'm assuming that's the only place I have to left to look. Siamese cell is done, so I pre pretty much just gotta present something to him. Ah. Uh, okay, what do I present to you? I'm gonna say he's not gonna react to that at all. The gun? No. I mean, there's nothing else to talk to him about, so I'm just gonna present stuff. God damn it, Meekins. I hate you. <laughs> Unless there's something I didn't have to examine here. Nope. I gotta present something, clearly. Yeah, I didn't think that was... Here we go, showing off everything. badge? Nope. How about... Gold plate. <laughs> and this is when I start to feel like an idiot. Ugh, profiles. Maybe that'll help. I mean, I presented everything, haven't I? Okay, here we go.
Okay, new person. I mean, it's interesting, it's eyebrow sideburns. <laughs> Shano Fisher. You're happy about that? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this guy is just... This guy is insane. You're a horrible guard if you're drinking beer on the job. <laughs> Mike frickin' Meekins. Ah, jeez. <laughs> okay, well, this is the most damning testimony we have then, because... Okay, so this is like a res the only explanation for this is that it's like a recipe for turnabout sort of double occurrence because you have the judge walking in there the first time, he gets knocked out, and then somebody else recreates the scene. I'm gonna guess it's Earl and Meyer's wig. Because I saw it briefly in the opening. Same wig. What does Earl Meyer look like? That's the one thing I want to see. I mean, really, there. <laughs> this might be a bit of a stretch, but I mean, Sean O'Fisher and. Earl and Meyer have very similar things. If you throw out that wig and make him bald, shave the nose, I mean, it's the same damn face. You got the butt chin, you got you got the big nose, you have these weird eyebrows going everywhere. <laughs> Holy shit. 
I bet you that's where this is going. I bet you the real Sean O'Fisher is actually dead. And that Erlen Meyer is making up this whole testimony. To, uh, he's pretending to be Fisher and making up the whole testimony. I mean, that's a really, really large leap in logic, but I mean, it's making sense in my head. Whoa, 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 I wish I could go back. Did they just do a Devil May Cry reference there? <laughs> Fill your dark soul with light? Like a virgin Touched for the very first time I feel like I shouldn't be making fun of this Well, maybe I'll examine her room. There might be something interesting here. Yeah, this is the same dialogue from before. Let's examine what you got here. Your brother gonna be on here? I can't, I'm gonna be honest, I like Rhea. I think she's pretty fun. Interesting. Can I look at this picture? That feels like a very odd detail. Yes! Phoenix! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. That was... <laughs> god damn it. Phone added to court records? What? Is it just something to do with the killer's name being John? Oh, I can call people. Interesting. That's actually kind of interesting.
Is there anything else to examine here? Interesting. Okay. Where else is there to go? Nah. Can't hear the music or sound effects. I can boost that up a little bit then. Uh, the audio is coming through on my end, so. I mean, really, if they if they make if they ever put Phoenix in Smash, one of the moves straight up just be throwing and turning badges as a projectile. <laughs> I'm assuming you're going to be the judge. He really likes his Latin. I mean, what, what, what am I gonna lose for taking the case anyways? See, everyone always says I don't stand a chance, and then it turns out working out anyway. So... Okay, I'm gonna do a quick save. I think we're almost done with day one investigation. To be continued. Wonderful. So, I am going to be right back because I need a little break. I'm going to grab some food. Be back in a few minutes.
and we are back. Really? Not the one that introduced the entire Jura system? No, no, no. This is the game that's going to determine my history. Okay. This twisted web of character is absurd. A power data. <laughs> Gold digger, you mean. Christ! This went to zero to a hundred in like two minutes. Something I wish the later games actually did kind of interesting is playing with the Dura system. Because after Apollo Justice, it just kind of straight up is. Yep, that's what I thought. Strings was going to be the judge. Strings doesn't seem like the most professional person. He definitely seems too political. I'm not there. I'm not there either. Is he in the wrong courtroom? <laughs> Oh my god. Dear god, this is stupid.
He's gonna be a great judge. He did go to the wrong courtroom. I love pool already. Stop it, pool. Can we just get on with the damn case? He might be a reskin. I really can't tell. It might as well be a whole new sprite, because at least all the faces is different. Motive's easy, opportunity's easy, and the evidence is questionable right now. This is gonna be a hard one to fight back from. Because. I mean, I have an idea of where the story is going, I have no idea how to improve it. don't have his body. Okay, so we don't, we still, I was right, we do not have Earl Mark's body. Yeah, but even reskins are still kind of difficult to do, because... You have to get all the shading right, even if you just have a basic frame, it doesn't really help. Okay, I'm curious about this, and I'm curious about the bullets. Okay, this is the other thing. I mean, I guess you have the blood, but I, I don't understand how you can. If the, yeah, I was about to say, the judge doesn't have an opportunity to move the body. That's the best piece of evidence we have. Objection. Ooh, custom objection in there, nice.
I mean, no, because we don't have any opportunity for the judge to move it there. I feel like it would be your testimony. I was about to say, none of that makes sense. Yeah, okay, so my current theory behind all of this is that the judge originally came into the room and Erlenmeyer knocked him out. He took the gun, he waited for the real Shano Fisher to come in. He pretended to be the judge, pulled off the gun, shot somebody. I don't know who. I mean, I guess that, that doesn't really matter, but I guess you could say he shot. He probably killed the real Shano Fisher and then pretended to be a witness the whole time. As to where the real Shano Fisher's body is, I don't know. But this all fits with the title of Turnabout Substitution because he's literally, Erlenmeyer is literally escaping by pretending to be somebody else and substituting in for the judge. Um, I wasn't paying close enough attention. Um... I was gonna say, it might be the wig. say the wig. Damn it. Okay. I need the blood. Yeah. Okay, that's new information. Okay, I'm curious about this. Hold it. 
I see. I this this is where it's getting tricky. I'm not sure how we're gonna be able to. Okay, we, that's even worse. We know it's Erlenmeyer's blood, so even if we don't have the body, they know he was the one that got shot. Wait, 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 wait a second. He has... He didn't have his robes on. He had a uniform on. I'm gonna save it real quick. I'm thinking that Chambers used it to disguise himself as Megan's, and that's what he used to get into the office. So, I'm interested how his robes could have the blood on it if he was wearing this, according to all the other testimonies. Objection! Yep, there we go. Red horn, green horn. But, uh, but do we have the uniform? I don't. Okay, we don't have the exact uniform he had, but you would need the uniform of blood for that to be confirmed. The big thing we need to do is discredit the witness. Once we discredit him, a lot of it starts piecing in. I mean, obviously I can present the letter, but I, I don't have the actual letter. I only, I only have knowledge of its existence. that letter as evidence. Wow. That's m mean having that on recording.
they're straight up just telling me present the letter. I mean, I can present this thing on anything, but I don't know which sentence is going to be the one they want. Objection. Oh. Okay. I have the right idea. This letter is not going to be useful, because... <laughs> but we don't have any evidence of the letter, and if that's the case, it just comes down to Chambers. comes down to his own volition, and nobody else can help prove what he's saying is true. And that's why I didn't want to present it, but they're like, sure, do it. Meekins? Yep, Meekins. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the hard stuff. Damn, this is gonna be hard to disprove. <laughs> yeah, this is Meekin's fault.
Uh oh. Okay, let's just ignore that. He brought this gun on his own volition. He didn't. I mean, the only thing I can really think of is that if he was just holding the gun to Meekin's head, why the hell would he even need the... Why would he even need the uniform, right? He could just shoot... He could just bargain, threaten Meekin's and have him open the door. gun itself? I don't know where this is going. What does that have to do with Meekin's testimony, though? Yeah, that contradiction was not that possible. Let's say the, the the trial proving Fisher wrong is the most important piece of information right now. Because if we can prove Fisher's testimony is wrong, or if we can prove early that Fisher is actually Erlenmeyer, that flips the entire case upside down.
Okay. I think he is lying. But it's not because what he's saying is wrong. It's because I don't think anything he's saying actually happened. I think he's making it up. All because of Mike frickin' Meekins. Okay. How do you miss at that close of a range? That's the real question. Yeah. And you didn't intervene in the struggle at all. I feel like that would cause so much more blood. Yeah. I mean, the bloody handprint's the biggest question, because if he missed the first bullet, there would have been no blood. And then he shot in the forehead, he dies. He doesn't get to place his hand on it. Oh no, I read this one. Gone. <laughs> Frio is just gone. Wonderful. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have your own gun? No, 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 no. coming in with something. There is a gaping hole.
What would the second guard's testimony be like? I have an idea of what to ask, but I don't know what options are going to be available to me here. I mean, the best thing I can think of is this, this statement right here, and saying that... You're saying, imagine there was a camera. If a camera watched the situation, they'd be wondering why the hell did Fisher not do anything during the struggle. That would be my guess. Okay, but he has a gun. Plus harder. Objection. I'm not badgering. I'm just stating facts here. stopped. That come through now? was knocked out first. So we don't even know that he was shot in the head. Who's the witness? We've we've stopped with everyone involved. Okay. 
Okay. Back in court. Okay, we have Meekins again. They faked it out. Easy as hell, fool. <laughs> this is the one I don't agree with. He does have an opportunity. He doesn't have a motive, but he has an opportunity. Let's not pretend. Objection. He also doesn't have to use Chamber's gun. He could use his own gun and then just swap out the bullets. So it looks like Chamber's fired twice. Say it. No, it's going to be useful. Half an hour later, I saw Fisher, and he wasn't suspicious at all. I can just present his testimony. Half an hour later, I saw Fisher, and he wasn't suspicious at all. He passed out. And then... 
they were. Is there any testimony about where his body was found? Because this is the most obvious thing to present. Uh, he would have been still unconscious because they went back and they found both of them unconscious and. Uh, Both. This is. I've been waiting for this. I know this is where it's going. Uh, let's see real quick. No, 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 no. Objection. Or do they? Mikan saw someone else. Let's reload that save. Both of them are telling the truth. Meekins didn't hallucinate, and clearly it didn't say Meekins saw someone else, so there were two fishers. Can't be good. This is gonna feel so good. <laughs> it's gonna be Robert Erlenmeyer and the wig. Oh, I presented in the wrong order. All right, let's reload that save. But it's you have it's the wig and the uh, and Erlenmeyer because if you throw off the wig, he looks exactly like Fisher. Evidence that there were two Fishers. The wig? And who was the person? It was Erlenmeyer. Objection. So I called it. Erlenmeyer's not dead. Erlenmeyer's alive. It's not a picture of that. It's Erlenmeyer. Objection. And that means there's no murder. <laughs> Is 
It was an escape attempt. I've been calling this from the beginning. I'm so happy this is happening. <laughs> Nothing happened. No, 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 we got this. I mean, my best guess would be the blood. I mean, it's either the gun or the, the blood. Because... The blood... No, but it's the victim's blood. I guess the gun. back. Don't know what happened there. Should all be good still. How was the defendant rendered unconscious? <laughs> I just noticed that Chambers doesn't have an age on his profile. It's wonderful. It wasn't the gun, it wasn't the blood. I don't see the uniform being right. gun. I, I guess maybe the letter. No, that wasn't it. I have no clue what it's going for here then. What am I missing here?
I guess maybe the uniform, but I don't see how. I mean, I guess maybe it could be Fisher's testimony. No. Is it a profile I have to present? How is the defendant rendered unconscious? Profiles don't tell you who or how. It's not blood, it's not the gun, it's not the uniform, it's not the letter. The gold plate is unrelated, bust is unrelated, wig is unrelated. I. No, it's not the testimony either. I'm completely stumped. the other I am completely stumped. I presented pretty much everything at this point. I mean, unless it's... I don't think it would be any of the string stuff yet. I feel like that's way too late. But I'll try it. I 
I mean, I'll try. I mean, I, I, the only thing I can think of is that it's a profile. And I tried Fisher, so... Let's try Erlen Meyer. Jesus, that was dumb. <laughs> What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is absurd. Objection. This is such a reach. fired the gun. It was Erlenmeyer then. Or not Erlenmeyer, it'd be Sean Fisher. Gonna be Erlenmeyer again. Let's just keep accusing Erlenmeyer until this gets old. Yeah. Um. Well, that helps everything. He just comes out with it. I know exactly who it was. No, no, it wasn't. It's going to be strings. He's either going to announce it or he's going to get shot or something. Paul Strings.
We had the evidence too. Four eighty. Bust. Let's 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 ignore that part. That's not relevant. <laughs> I have the gold plate. happening. Really? Not really. That's a bit of a stretch. I think it looks like strings. Jesus, Rhea, what the hell? Rhea, what? That is insane. And Pool's just gonna stand by this? Guilty. There we go. That can't be the end of the case, though. That seems too simplistic. And there's a lot of things we haven't used. We haven't used. We haven't used the business card or the request. This seems suspicious. This shouldn't be ending like this. for murder. gonna go see pool <laughs> yeah, he's about to say this was suspicious the way it wasn't wrapping up Oh, 
don't know. This is strings. Oh no, that's a good pool, okay. Deadpool! <laughs> Giving Apollo a romantic interest. Interesting choice. Maybe theoretically. Oh my god. People stop calling me. Okay. I'm not too, too entirely shocked. That's not good. Damn. Uh, we just wrapped up a case involving the judge as a defendant. However, there was no murder, it was just a breakout attempt of a serial killer, and now as just as they've been trying to track down the serial killer, he's on the loose again. So, that's where we currently sit. Elias. That's the best way I can summarize it. <laughs> What higher cause are you trying to write for here? Unless you're claiming er Erlenmeyer isn't the serial killer, the bust killer. That's the only way I could see this being justified, is if Erlenmeyer was never the... Bust Serial Killer. Is that what the title was? The Mysterious Bust Killings. <laughs> Takes Snackoos. I mean, she kind of is my girlfriend now. Return snackoos. Oh my gosh, Emma, just...
the whole stream will be recorded, Elias, so you'll be able to rewatch some of it in the beginning. If you're truly interested. It's a pretty good pace, um, all things considered. It's a little... There's a couple questionable decisions here, but it's it's actually pretty good so far. I mean, that's the only way I can see this, ca this, this case going in this direction now, is that... I mean, it would be ballsy, but I think it would be interesting if we end up defending Erlenmeyer. Because that's the only part of this that's like kind of left up in the air, is anything involving the, the bust murders. We don't know anything about them, really. Why would you think something like that? Okay. Detention center. I'm assuming this is where uh, strings is going to be. But why? As I say, why do you why are you so why do you want to protect him in the first place? who cannot see the truth. Yeah, he's gonna tell me that Earl Meyer is not the best killer. Interesting. Hey, can you provide some examples, please? I'm interested by Strings as a character, because he's... I like the philosophical arguments he ends up making for most of the stuff.
I mean, he's he's not wrong. He doesn't think that Erlen Meyer is the serial killer. Yeah, I was about to say, that's the big thing you have to clear up, is why he would even turn himself in in the first place if he wasn't the bust killer. Yeah, I don't see how the science teacher is... Okay. This music is friggin' insane. <laughs> <laughs> Some people just want to send a message. Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> the great philosopher of the Joker. <laughs> HT5 case files. Interesting. Okay, well, we want to go to the police station. This guy is still working here. <laughs> An elderly man with tasers. I was about to say, are we just not going to talk about phone karma? Hello. I didn't ambush you, I just walked into the room. I'm 
and you must be innocent. Man. Strings is kind of cool. Let's see what we got here. HT5 Miles. Incident. Courtroom number six, Vivian Snow, Prosecutor Jessica Poole. Investigator Jake Marshall. Wow. Nice one there. Multiple victims, various movies. Witnesses, Rhea. Okay. Verdict, guilty. Life in a prison asylum, no special conditions. No bodies found in the victim's bedrooms. Fake photos of victims naked were scattered across the room, forming a bust when viewed from up close. Killer also left a music sheet signed Charles Darwin. We have fingerprints. Ed Zeppelin. Claire Dier. Mona Lott. Jackpot. B. Woodman. <laughs> Rick Roll, goddammit. Um. Oh, now it's like. They're all unmarried. That seems like an important detail. Most of them are male. Sarah Bellum is the only one that hasn't. No apparent connections between victims. Only connections police found where every victim was single and lived near Los Angeles. I'll look through it one more time. Yeah, I mean, they were predominantly male, but there were a couple female there. Interesting. I'm going to guess it's one of the locations of the murders that proves the minutes set. Respectable. <laughs> Two or three people shout nonsense at each other. <laughs> that, that was my first trial. <laughs>
Yep. I mean, that's often how some of these things go. Great or good. Okay. The station's done, so let's go to Supreme Court building. Oh, there's not much here. Okay. This may be D and K Co. Nah, that just does. That lets me talk to Bria. I don't really need that courtroom. Why are we going to a courtroom? I'm glad that you got some sprites, but they, yeah, you're definitely a Francisco reskin, or at least just general sprite work. I was about to say, she seems so much more nice than she was on the trial. Are you implying Clavier is not a good prosecutor? Evidence was inconclusive. What? case is about HT5. Bevin Snow. Oh, what? We're gonna play in this trial? Damn. No. Wonder Vivian Snow is going to become important to this now.
and the mysterious boss together. Don't know. I'm talking about Charles Darwin. This is going on. This is disturbing. Maria, wow. Oh my god. of an armadillo on his back. How did Erlen Meyer know about that? See, I feel like the case is going in the direction that Erlen Meyer is innocent, but there's no possible evidence that would back that up. Holy crap. You can't do that in the middle of a trial. Is that... I don't know, we're coming back to the next trial, okay. schizophrenia you're saying Objection. 
add to the court records. Can I look at this? No. They don't actually exist. How could you have that evidence? Oh my god. Lady, are you kidding me? Purposely forged it. Interesting. So it had nothing to do with evidence, it just had to do with principle. Turn yourself in. <laughs> it's okay, Phoenix can wait. We're on a date. Wonderful. Chez Jean Bonaparte. <laughs> hmm, does time not turn out serenade? Wow, you're calling me Polly. Ah. 
I'm not judging. Steel Samurai was great. <laughs> There was a heart there. Yeah. Wake up. What happened to Judge Chambers? Is he arrested again? Oh, crap. Did they find Erlenmeyer? Robin Erlenmeyer. They're actually going with this. <laughs> Lawyer themed video games, <laughs> wonderful. Interesting. My bracelet is actually gone. So they're doing this so I can't have absolute certainty that Robin Meyer is telling the truth or not. Apollo Justice. Tell me, tell me I'm pretty. Investigate <laughs> Rhea being a sociopath.
Yeah. Oh, dear God. <laughs> The entire thing is suspicious. A graveyard. They're clearly setting this up that Strings is right, that he's not the killer. He didn't do any killing, and then but then that doesn't explain why the judge got killed in any situation. Bob Berlemeyer. So there's Rob and Bob. Take the case. I've known you for two days, Rio. Okay, let's not get out of hand here. Area. Thrown at head by Rhea.
Bone Forest Cemetery. Okay. This, this has been going on for quite a bit, and I think there's still another three or so hours left in this case. So I'm really enjoying it. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and I think it's going to be a call. I'll figure out when to get a, another stream up for us to finish up Terra Substitution. This case has been really good, especially for a fan case. Very professionally made so far. So this is going to be very fun. So. Thank you everyone who turned in through any time of the stream or if you're watching this after the stream has happened. It's been fun. Thank you all.